the Persian New Year was celebrated this year on the 21st of March. Tajikistan, people celebrated with traditional music and parades, and the crowds turned out in special costumes. The day centers on spending time with family and enjoying eating special food together. New Year in Tajikistan normally lasts four days. Everyone dances, sings and visits relatives in the villages. And we go to the mountains and pick flowers. That's New Year here. Tajikistan <laughs> It's a time of renewal and optimism for the future. People spring clean their houses and turn out in their best clothes. Special foods include samanu, a sweet pudding made from wheat germ, symbolizing affluence. Traditional foods for Nauru's are sambusek, soup, rice and fish. We eat chicken and other poultry too, as well as other national dishes. But during the Soviet period, Nauru's was banned and people were punished for celebrating it. In the 1930s, when the intellectual class was eliminated, our old calendar disappeared. The Soviet government completely banned Nauru's, thinking it was a religious ceremony. They didn't believe it was just a traditional human celebration. It's very important that the intellectual and cultural leaders of Afghanistan, Iran and Tajikistan cooperate in order to promote Nauru's. We also have to include Azerbaijan, Armenia and Georgia, because they were also part of the Persian Empire. Given the message of Nauru's, I think it can spread to other countries, promoting unity and solidarity among all people. In 20 years of independence, the Tajik people have shown a growing enthusiasm for Nauru's. The festivities continue and will end on Sunday with a ceremony attended by 600 foreign guests from 30 different countries.